hope you're having a great morning. Um, today, well, uh, first I gotta say, please go to fredmccoy.com to find out more information on our uh, museum. Our museum is called at Philip McCoy Museum Adventures. And the last couple days we've been on adventure. Today we are at George Hatfield's Cemetery. George Hatfield was the father to Floyd, Constable Floyd Hatfield, Elias Hatfield, Preacher Ants Hatfield. And um, so this is basically this is basically his grave graveyard, the Hatfield graveyard. And where's it located at? Right across the school, uh, right across from Blackberry Grade School, which is now a haunted house. Sure. And across from Asa Harmon McCoy's um, sign down there. Historical, historical marker. marker. Yeah. Where he was killed. Yeah. This is uh, George and Nancy Hatfield. And he is, what is he to you, Ken? That's my great, great, great. There you go. Grandfather. That's Preacher Ants' dad. Right. Well, pre you, you said Preacher Ants, Floyd, right. Bad Lies, mm -hmm. Basil. Uh, he was the father to all of them. But Preacher Ants is my connection. Um, right. He was, uh, uh, George, it would have been my great, 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 uh, him and Nancy, grandparents. Right. And uh, Sheila's got some interesting um, stories. Uh, she's going to put it to the back of the video. Uh, on George and the Hatfield family, the, mm -hmm. my part. You know, these are Kentucky Hatfields. These are not West Virginia. Right. These are the good Hatfields. Watch her laugh. Well. So, um, she's in front of the camera. See, she can't look at me right now and. I can't go cut because then you're going to see me going cut. I, I wish <laughs> Sheila would get more passionate sometimes, <laughs> slash mad, <laughs> AKA mad. Um, <laughs> But these, these are, these were the Kentucky Hatfields, and there was nothing like Kentucky Hatfields and Kentucky McCoys, for that matter. They were, um, they were a different breed. They were peace uh, lovers. They were, you, you didn't see them posing with their guns. You didn't see them doing all the things that Devil Ants and, and his family did over in West Virginia. It was just, it was too different. And um, it, it was from the Civil War, and when Devil Ants, you know, George... Um, uh, like I said, preacher ants fought for the Union, right. and uh, when the way Devil Ants left the Civil War and deserted and became a looter and a bushwhacker, it changed his mentality, and for some reason, you know, there's an old saying, if you want to know a person's character, look at who he uh, hangs with, look at uh, who he, his company, yeah. and that's what happened. Devil Ants had all these bunch of... Uh, Desperados that he hung out with, and all of them, they fed off of each other, and they were all bad. On the other hand, the bunch here from Kentucky, even though they fought in the war, when the war was over, it was over. They, they, uh, that, it was like over. That old saying, birds of a feather flock, flock together. That's a good one. That's a good yeah. saying. That's what happened. But, uh, George, now I'm, I'm saying they're peacemakers, and they were, but I'm going to show you. You know, people sometimes think that I'm <clears throat> one-sided. Right. Uh, like I tell everybody, who could be more uh, embarrassed to be related to somebody than the McCoys to Charles Manson? So how much worse can it get? So even though Devil Ants lived up to Charles Manson's reputation, the McCoys were actually related to him. And I've always, I've never been ashamed to tell that. Uh, everybody's got a history. It's part of, of who you are. So uh, you'll see a paper where George actually got in a fight with some people and all of his kids and everybody comes to him to his rescue and they all fight and uh, take up for well, all for one and one for all I guess mm -hmm. and uh, but it's interesting history guys so I was gonna say one thing Can yeah. you see that fence line there that separates doesn't it yeah this is this part right here this little section here that's fenced in is George Hatfield yeah, yeah. that's that's fair to say okay. that's why it's fenced in yeah and there's another cemetery which is also Hatfield's. It's, it's, also Hatfield. it's all a Hatfield cemetery. Right. But, but this, this is more or less here. George's it's immediate, here. yeah, here. immediate family. Yes. There you go. And um, here's one, Sheila, if you want to come on down, we'll do the next video here. And uh, you got something to say on this one? Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.